While this is cocoa harvest time in West Africa, many of the migrant workers who harvest the crop can't cross borders because they live in countries suffering from the Ebola outbreak, meaning prices of chocolate products will probably go up. Hershey's and Nestle's have both sent money to Ebola-stricken Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea to help combat the disease and to protect the world's largest suppliers of coca. 60% comes from Ghana and Ivory Coast. And while many area bakers get their cocoa products from Europe, much of it has its roots in West Africa, where the pods are cut from trees, opened, so beans can be dried before being bagged and shipped to Europe. So when they talk about the global economy, this really brings it home. Cocoa in West Africa to Denver. Prices could go up if the crop doesn't get harvested. It seems like nowadays everything's related, so we've got a worldwide economy, so it's not just a one small location, everything seems to affect everything else. We haven't seen our prices go up yet. Um, Currently, we're getting all of our chocolate from Hershey's, um, from Pennsylvania, and they haven't raised their prices yet, so we're hoping that they stay down. As are bakers and candy makers across the globe, and right here in the Rockies. Yeah, the English toffee should be great. While some prices for candy bars have gone up a few cents, much of that is related to buyers saying how much they will pay for raw product. Last month, prices hit a three-year high, but if no one harvests the cocoa pods and the crop is lost, prices will go up, making Halloween as expensive as Christmas. In the last week, the good news is prices backed off when borders were closed off for those countries into the Ivory Coast. At Ryder Square, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.